Hello, coaches. Welcome back to another episode of Coach Better Spotlight. My name is Kim Capino, and I've worked with hundreds of teachers, coaches, and leaders in schools around the world to help them create thriving and sustainable instructional coaching programs. And I'm on a mission to help you coach better. Wherever you are in your coaching journey, come learn with us in one of our courses for instructional coaches or our private mentoring packages. Join our global Coach Better community and find all of our resources for instructional coaches on our website at coachbetter.tv. If you have a question you'd like to hear us answer or a topic you'd like us to discuss, please drop us a line on our website at coachbetter.tv slash ask. Join our Coach Better Facebook group or find us on social media at Eduro Learning and send me a DM. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to catch all of our latest episodes here on YouTube. Today, we have an extra special episode of Coach Better. It is our virtual launch party for the brand new nonprofit organization that we've been building for the last year, the Association for the Advancement of Instructional Coaching in International Schools. If you're an instructional coach in international schools, you know that coaching can look vastly different at different schools and you might find yourself advocating for and building coaching programs at every school you move to. Instructional coaching is such a nuanced and complex role, both within your individual coaching practice and at the programmatic level. And moving from school to school in our international context where leaders are also moving from school to school makes it even more complex. Both instructional coaches and school leaders need to be involved in this conversation, and it needs to be specific for international schools. That's why we founded ACES. To find out more about our organization and to join the conversation about instructional coaching in international schools, head over to our website at aaicis.org. That's aces.org. Okay, let me introduce you to just a small portion of our team here at ACES. Let's go. As we get started, as we go into this conversation, I would like everyone to have a chance to say hello and introduce themselves so you know who we are on this call today. And I did mention this is just a small group of us. Our team is almost 30 educators strong. So this is just a little portion of who is available at this very time to have this conversation. And I will start us off with Paola. Paola, will you say hello, introduce yourself, and then we'll go through the rest of the group. Hi, I am Paula Plaza Ponte. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. And I am the membership engagement coordinator at the AIE. So that's the Association for the Advancement of International Education. Happy to be here, Kim. Thanks for the invite. Thanks, um, Andrew? Andrew? Uh, thanks, Paula. Yeah. Hi, I'm Andrew Ranson. I am the instructional coach at uh, International Community School of Abidjan in Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, and and uh, I come to this circle, ha having hosted a bunch of calls with coaches uh, kind of here and there, and I'm looking forward to the chance of, of um, ongoing engagement around instructional coaching uh, wherever it's happening in international schools. And I'll pass it on to Jordan. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jordan. I use he, him pronouns. I'm currently in Luxembourg. And I've been instructional coaching across multiple schools and multiple continents and thrilled to be a part of this group. Um, I started my own European coaching collaborative and just happy to be forming a nonprofit with this team of wonderful people. So I'll pass it over to our next hero, uh, Sasha. Uh, thank you, Jordan. I'm Sasha. I'm an instructional coach in Kuwait and I've been coaching here for the past five years. I believe in coaching and the power of coaching to change lives. And I'm so happy to be part of this group championing coaching for our students and for coaches. And I'll pass it to Aaron. Thanks, Sasha. My name is Aaron Shelby, and I'm the secondary curriculum coordinator at the American Community School here in Abu Dhabi. And uh, I believe coaching is transformational, and I also believe our organization, ACES, is going to be transformational as well. So I can't wait until our full lunch and you learn more. With that, I'm going to go ahead and pass it to Carrie. Hi, I'm Carrie Hart. Um, I'm going to say that I identify as instructional coach um, because <laughs> I 
was doing instructional coaching before I understood what it was. And I'm so excited to be a part of this organization so that we can help other coaches who um, need that assistance in their school or their community to grow and to, you know, join us in this awesome sphere that is instructional coaches. And I'm going to pass it off to Nika. Thanks, Carrie. So I have a story too. I didn't realize I was an instruction coach of sorts until I met with Kim and was on her podcast. But I'm Nika Johnson. I am a, um, a fellow and an international advisor for the Council of International School. And I'm also on the ASA board. And I'm also on the ACES advisory board. So I'm so excited to be here. And yeah. I will pass it back to Kim. Thank you. Thank you, Nika. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for introducing yourselves. It is just super exciting to be in this room with all of these amazing humans educators, instructional coaches with so much passion around the work that we all came together to do that we're doing in our daily lives every day. Um, and so today on the podcast, we're going to answer some questions that we were that we solicited and got the questions sent to us about what people are curious about in terms of our brand new organization, the Association for the Advancement of Instructional Coaching in International Schools. And we call it ACES like basis, but without the B, or like the sneaker, ASICS, but without that extra C, so ASIS. And I know I kind of touched on this a little bit, and you kind of probably pulled from what Sasha was talking about in terms of our vision, mission, and beliefs, but the reason why we wanted to get started, why we need this organization, Aaron, I'm going to pass that on to you. Yeah, that's a good question, and I think probably all of us in different positions, previous positions, current position. Um, coaching can be isolating. So you might be one of one in your school community, or you might have a team, but still not able to connect with other people, whether it's on your site or in your larger community. So we were really thinking about that. And what are those reasons that this organization can truly provide that network of support for coaches, instructional coaches, for schools around the world. And I think that around the world piece is super important and super key to the mission and vision of ACES. So really thinking about how can we help uh, provide a common foundation for instructional coaching and cultures of coaching in international schools. And again, that important piece, as we know, international schools, as you mentioned earlier, Kim, wanting to really think about how we personalize that towards your school site, what your school's mission, vision might be, and how we can help support that and thinking about what that instructional coaching program looks like for, for you and your um, colleagues. Also the networking opportunities for instructional coaches, we wanna make sure we're able to provide uh, opportunities for connection, whether that's just being able to talk and kind of share the day-to-day -day going on and processing uh, with someone who might be in a similar position, but also providing opportunities to learn from one another. We all know that there's power in that. And so we want to be able to provide that opportunity as well. We also think it's super important that we provide um, time space and that uh, opportunity for schools and organizations to receive support in developing and sustaining on-site instructional coaching programs that we know are based in good practice, best practice, and research. Um, and so those three things really are drivers in terms of really launching this and getting this off the ground. Again, Kim, as you mentioned, talking with heads of schools, talking with instructional coaches, we really then seeing there's a common need out there. There's an appetite for this to be able to come together to provide a unique foundation for instructional coaching around the world. Yes. And Aaron, you hit on the next topic, which is our first big project, which I know Jordan would like to talk about. And then Pal will finish up with what we hope to do in our first year. But Aaron, I want to highlight you talked about um, some level of consistency among international schools and being able to have some level of expectation for what you might be expected to do or how you might work when you move from school to school. And it made me smile because before the call, we were all talking about where everyone's going to work next year. And almost everyone on this call is moving to a new instructional coaching, not everyone, but many of the people on this call are moving to a new instructional coaching position next year. And thinking about how unique each international school is, 
how amazing would it be if you move to your new job and you could have a shared understanding right off the bat that we all believe mm-hmm. instructional coaching is the same thing. And this is the way we think it should work. And this is how we make it sustainable. And this is what our expectations are for you. And this is what we offer as a school, and really supporting schools in developing that consistent and sustainable practice that is still unique for each international school based on their needs, mm-hmm. but a little more consistency across our global network of international schools. And one of the first ways we're going to do that is actually start figuring out what does instructional coaching look like in all of these different international schools that we hope to work with. And I will let Jordan tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's a great question that we hope to answer. Um, I've had the experience of working as a coach in multiple different continents, and it has been wildly different at each. And and my next role is to go build a, a coaching role as well. And I think we've been in that situation where we're either a team of one or a team of two. Um, and we wonder, well, how are other schools doing it? What is the landscape of coaching? What are the trends right now that are happening happening in instructional coaching in international schools? And we don't really have that answer, right? We have the trends of instructional coaching in um, the largest bodies of research coming out of the U.S.-based schools, where you might have a teaching and learning team in a district serving five or six schools. But we're fortunate out here to have instructional coaches on site. And what does that look like? And what models are being used? And if my school is this size, what's the sort of um, median amount of of instructional coaches we have? And what are the needs that all instructional coaches are are facing, maybe across international schools or even across regions? So that really inspired us to um, come up with an annual research survey. So we have a research team that has developed a tool by which we will be uh, working with you know, who is ever willing to fill it out for us. So you'll see this survey hit your inbox, probably from a couple of our uh, partner organizations and a couple of different mailing lists. And our goal is to sort of aggregate that uh, information, take key insights from it, so that if you are either developing a program, have a developed program of instructional coaching, um, or are considering the development, you know what the landscape is in both your region and uh, worldwide in these international schools and can understand like, hey, this, these are the different ways it's working. I think there's another really key insight we're going to get from this research that I'm really excited, which is what needs a group like ACES can support. Mm-hmm. So we'll use the research from this to understand, well, what models do people need? And part of that is going to help us develop uh, in time our standards and school-based expectations based on the research. So if schools are saying we need this and this is how we get a return on investment, then ACES can help with that development of resources. So some of the projects that we'll have with the research is we will um, have a a annual report, we'll have an annual white paper, we're talking about having a dashboard with interactive results, um, and even the ability for schools to partner with one of our researchers on our research team to hear the key insights from the people who did the research. And we see this as an annual research report so that we can see how coaching is changing in schools like ours. So I'm really excited. I have a great research team. And uh, I, I think it's going to be really interesting for as we move schools to say, hey, how how is it currently looking? And what does that help me know about what we can do with our program? Yes. And I, I'm going to take a moment for self-promo. I recently wrote a chapter in this big giant book all about instructional coaching in international schools and doing research for that chapter was like impossible because there is nothing on instructional coaching in international schools. I pulled stuff from the United States and also obviously from this podcast, all the conversations I've had, but we're going to be the first group that really intentionally looks at how does instructional coaching work and what does it mean for us in our unique settings in international schools. And I'm super excited to see that research being done and about the team that is leading that work. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you for watching this clip, introducing ACES, the Association for the Advancement of Instructional Coaching in International Schools. I really cannot even express how excited I am about this work. As I hope you can see from this clip, the team behind ACES is absolutely incredible. The depth of experience in international schools and the passion for instructional coaching just shines through in everything we do. We are so excited to have a space where instructional coaching in international schools is the priority, and we hope you will join us. If you've been listening to the podcast or watching my quick tips, you know how complex and nuanced instructional coaching is. As much as we can advocate for the work of coaches as individual instructional coaches in our school community, having a global 
dedicated nonprofit organization to support our work and to define some basic foundational principles around instructional coaching and to provide that community space for that 24 seven job alike and for that space for school leaders to come together and talk about how coaching is actually working to initiate and elevate the conversation around instructional coaching at the school and region wide level globally (laughs) will have a much longer impact than even we can see right now. If you're ready to be part of this conversation or you want to start a conversation with your school leader, head over to our website to find all of our resources and connect with us. You can find our website at aces.org. That's A-A-I-C-I-S dot org. And you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn at ACES. We cannot wait to connect with you. See you next time.